As a YouTuber, you should always be challenging yourself. So if you've been following my channel, you've probably done some screen recordings and uploaded them to YouTube. But where do you take things to the next level? Well, how about live streaming, a way to interact with your audience directly? So far, that's been an impossibility on iOS devices. But this could be the game changer. Folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal. And if you've been following my channel recently, you will have noticed that I'm talking a lot about live streaming these days. I've even been doing it and shown you tutorials on how to do it with a computer. But of course, not all of you have those facilities at your disposal. So can you do it directly with an iOS device? I showed you BB Rec, which was capable of doing it, but it was absolutely terrible. But as a concept, we know it can be done. And now there's a developer out there who has achieved such a thing, and they're called VDU. So let's go take a look at their app and how to set up live streaming with an iPad or an iPhone. So, direct iOS live streaming, good news part one. But here's good news part two. This is not your conventional screen recorder. You don't have to download a Dodge app from outside of the App Store. It doesn't require a certificate. Nothing's gonna get revoked. This is all legitimate because VDU is actually using the AirPlay service as it's intended, streaming to an external location. And this is where you need to go. On your Safari web browser, and it has to be the Safari web browser, go to VDU, that's V-I-D-I-U dot com, and you'll end up on this screen. Now, because VDU is not your conventional iOS app, there are one or two unusual steps to get this working, and here's what you need to do. First of all, on the website, tap the login button, and that should send you to your settings where you need to install the VDU profile. What this essentially does is set up a VPN connection when you're doing live streaming. Now, for more information about this, you can check on the website or read the description on screen now. Otherwise, tap the install button. You'll be asked to put in your passcode at this point. Once you've done that, you'll move on to the next screen and tap the install button, and that should get you up and running with the necessary things you need to log into video to do a live stream. Once you have logged in, you should get a screen that looks something like this. Now, once logged in, you may note in the top left-hand corner of your device, you've got a little VPN symbol. That's because you're now connected to video's secure servers in order to do the live stream. In order to turn this off, you simply tap the logout button in the top right-hand corner. But essentially, this is where we can start doing live streaming. As well as being able to live stream, video can record your screen in a conventional manner, but we'll look at that in a future video. For now, we want to look at live streaming to YouTube. So here you need to tap the YouTube tab to set up live streaming. And whenever you switch tabs, you will have to do the same setup, but it's fairly simple. Just tap the configure button. That will send you to your YouTube accounts. And if you've already logged in, you should need to select whichever account you want to live stream to. And that is going to ask for permissions to connect video and YouTube together. You will have to agree to this in order to do the live streaming. Once you've pressed allow, that should send you to the secure video screen once again and the setup should change a little bit because now it will say it is ready to do live streaming and that's it you're now configured to stream your ios device to youtube but before we move any further let's just look at the top message here streaming is limited to two minutes so yes this is a paid application but you do get two minutes free, which gives you the opportunity to test this and work out whether you want to use this on a more permanent basis and buy the application. And I'll provide more information about that at the end of the video. One more thing to note before we start a live stream, it does use the video convention of audio recording. That means that when you're streaming, you won't be able to hear any sounds from your iOS device. And if you want to stream your voice, you will need to download an extra application from the App Store. And there is a link handily provided on the VDU uh, webpage, and it's this, it's free. And when you start live streaming, you need to activate this, but I'll show you that in a more detail once we start a live stream. So with all those things in mind, let's start a live stream. And this is where things will get familiar. Bring up your control center, go to AirPlay mirroring, and because you're connected to VDU, you should get options for streaming. I'm going to try 720 for this example, just as a test. 
that should automatically start the stream you can see a blue bar at the top of the device and what I'm also going to do now is go to my home screen and launch the microphone application and that should now enable microphone recording as we're doing a live stream which you should hopefully see so we'll do a couple of swipes load up clash of clans just to give you a, a bit of audio and you will notice here And you will notice here that the microphone audio is being drowned out a little bit by the game audio and you can't adjust volumes at the moment. So we'll do a couple of swipes, load up Clash of Clans just to give you a, a bit of audio. And you will notice here that the microphone by the game audio and you can't adjust volumes at the moment on video. I've suggested this to developer so hopefully he will fix this issue so that you can hear yourself talking as you're doing a live stream. But essentially these are the best. Let me know what you think. You may have noticed a bit of clipping at the end of that last section and that's basically the nature of live streaming. There will be moments when you get a pause in the stream or a little bit of lag and the delay between your iOS device and YouTube is around 10 to 15 seconds. But this, compared to something like BB Rec, is an absolute revolution. And you'll see more of that in this demonstration of Clash Royale live streamed to YouTube on 1080p. Now let's be honest here, the output doesn't look like it's 1080p, more around 720p or below, but the audio sync is perfect and if you can spot any lag then pop that in the comments below because I couldn't throughout this game that I played. There are a couple of things that don't make this true live streaming just yet. For example, when you're live streaming on your iOS device, there's no way that you can check the YouTube chat, so you can't directly interact with your fans. And even if you did, because of the audio microphone is drowned out by the system sounds, nobody's going to be able to hear you anyway. There's also no way to add titles or descriptions through video yet, you've got to go to the YouTube live stream webpage, so yeah, things aren't perfect. But come on guys, as a brand new product, let's cut video some slack. They've managed to achieve live streaming direct on an iOS device with reliability and you can test it for free. Now you can live stream these two minute sessions as many times as you want but just remember it is going to kick you off at that two minute cutoff point. In order to get the full unlocked version for unlimited live streaming you need to verify your video account and that's done through the application which is purchased from the Apple App Store for $3.99 or $2.99 as of time of recording as there is a sale on. Now if a thought of buying an iOS screen live streamer makes you uncomfortable, let's remember this is not a screen recorder in the traditional air show or video or BB Rec sense. This is a legitimate application using AirPlay exactly as it's intended, so this application will not get revoked from the Apple App Store. I've barely touched on the topic that you can actually screen record with this application and I'll do that in a future video, so there is real value for money here. We have a screen recorder from an application that's not going to get revoked and a live streaming service that we've not seen anywhere else on Apple's devices. This is what you've been wanting for months, live streaming directly on an iOS device. And I've not even covered the fact that you can do Twitch and Facebook, so it covers all the major live streaming services. And you can test it for free. Granted, there are one or two things that need to be improved, but I definitely recommend checking video out as soon as possible. And I've asked the developers to keep a keen eye on this video because I know you're going to come back with lots of positives and negatives and constructive feedback. If you have any further questions about video or live streaming in general, pop them in the comments below and I'll do my very best to help you. Otherwise, subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more iOS screen recording content and now live streaming content just like this. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.